In this exercise, I will show you how to convert seismic information to porosity using um, a neural network inversion workflow. Uh, we will use in this exercise the supervised neural network approach to establish a relationship between the seismic response and the porosity. So let's see how we do this in OpenDDAT. Uh, so the first step, we need to launch the attribute edit icon here. Uh, select the uh, 3D and open the um, attribute set and select the inversion uh, attributes. The input uh, consists of acoustic impedance. Uh, values uh, from acoustic uh, impedance volume and of course uh, a reference time uh, the <clears throat> the two-way travel time is included here to capture um, any possible porosity trend uh, with the depth and in this case of course time because we are dealing with a time survey we have extracted the acoustic impedance uh, in a 24 millisecond time window that slides along uh, the wheel track to compensate for any uh, potential uh, inaccuracies or errors. Uh, so we um, click on the machine learning uh, plugin here. Um, in the machine learning control center, uh, highlight the neural network, uh, the neural network 3D, and click on go. And in the Neural Network Manager 3D, we will select the property prediction wheel data. So the information here will be used and the training and testing will be extracted mainly from the, uh, from the, uh, the wells. So uh, this is one of the required in this uh, exercise that you have wells. So here's the uh, attributes that we will use and the select target is going to be the porosity and we will highlight all the ways that uh, will be used for the data extraction and here is where we could uh, 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 make uh, uh, the selection between the FS8 and FS4 and radius 0 and we will use the average and the percentage used for the test set is um, it's to 30% and let's go ahead and hit OK um, so now what you see here in the import data is uh, some statistic that uh, allows you to do some um, uh, data QC and uh, cross border with some attributes so uh, we can uh, for example highlight the acoustic impedance axis and cross plot it against the porosity index and click on the um, show cross plot icon here so you can see here we have already have uh, some sort of uh, a trend between the acoustic impedance and the uh, porosity so i can go ahead and close this one and hit run so that the training starts and here if i need to do some uh, data balance and um, can go ahead hit OK <clears throat> and now the training has started and once you get a nice trend between the training and the test uh, uh, data uh, and that's where you need to uh, click on OK because we want to avoid over training so now I can go ahead and hit OK Uh, now with the neural network manager 3d window pops up I can go ahead and um, store this uh, uh, neural network so it can called velocity <coughs> and hit OK and optionally you can click on info just to um, see the summary of the um, the neural network training here and of course option E also you can save the report for further use so I'm gonna go ahead and close this window and close this window here 
and we can go ahead and look at the results together and now change the color scale to a porosity so this is our porosity in protection between FS8 and FS4 uh, if I like the results I can go ahead and click on processing and output this into uh, a cube select the new network here porosity and just here volume and click on run. With this, I conclude this exercise.